Let's look closer on a different type of atmosphere that we can find um, inside the view. To access atmosphere settings, we can go click on top navigation bar, click atmosphere and click atmosphere editor. You also can press F4 hotkey to access it directly. You'll notice it's just slightly a bit redesigned from previous version. Now we have it atmosphere settings, not just uh, in a row. We have it from the top drop down box. Some of them may be already familiar with the previous standard environment volumetric and the spectral used tonight, now called standard spectral. Also we have a new photometric spectral. So we can look on all of them very fast, just overview. As well, we'll look on some of these property settings and tabs. So let's go ahead and start with the standard. Standard is very basic um, atmosphere that provide very fast render. In many cases, when you maybe work with the multiple models, complex settings, and you want to have a very fast preview, I do recommend set your atmosphere model first on the standard and work this way. Actually, if you even reduce the ambient occlusion or standard, you won't have that accurate shadows, but the render will be extremely fast and it's very useful as a beginning. Uh, my usually workflow, it is set up terrains, modeling, set up models, ecosystem, start work atmosphere on uh, materials and atmosphere as usual. It's my last step in the workflow before I set renders because um, with the higher models for atmospheres, it will increase time of render. And in many cases, the as a preview going, um, I want a very fast preview. I don't want waste time to waiting for those previews. However, it's all depend on your own workflow, whatever is um, work best for you. So right here we have a standard atmosphere. And as we in this, you'll notice some of these tabs that will be similar to all, some of them will be changed. So let's right here look first, we have a sun, we have a sun position as a pitch, a touch camera too, and the size of the mask and also glowing or um, in this tab will be a little bit changed in different atmospheres, but currently it's a mask by the clouds. You also can enable use the real world where you can specify time, location and date. And these options is very useful when you start rendering natural scenery. For example, you want match for the set extension or for specific time of the season and day of for your scenery. So the next we'll have a light. You notice we beside the atmosphere models, we also have the light model, which can be standard, global ambience, ambient occlusion, global illumination, and global radiosity. Okay, the standard lighting model, it's very basic. It just produces lights from um, source like sun, calculating this, and also apply overall illuminations for the ambient lighting. The global ambient, this is a little bit more um, elaborate estimating of the light. So it's next step. In this case, it's also taken in calculation and you can see how it's changed the color of the atmosphere, for example, we switch now it's a little bit bluish. Okay, it's also take in calculation some other environment, um, how it's going in all directions. Also, um, just small changes in the shadows. So next we have an ambient occlusion. And this is an um, improved version actually of the global ambient. And uh, Calculation is um, by recreating a rays from the points in the sky and tracing directly to them. So it's a little bit more accurate. However, each of these atmospheres take a little bit more and more time to calculate it. So next we have the global and it also trace the effect from the other objects is going all the way to the sky and a little bit more darker effect on the shadows creating so a little bit more accurate with this and in many times global illuminations work just fine um, without go going to the global radiosity but again this is some simulations is not um, 
full accurate model as the global reverse will produce for you. However, when you use the ambient occlusion or global illuminations, you want to work a little bit more with ambient lighting so you can see a little bit better on the light. So it's kind of um, going towards light balance to this so you will see a little bit more effect. Otherwise, the effect won't be that significant and um, you won't notice. So next we have the global radiosity. This is the ultimate model um, in the terms of the quality of illuminations and realism. So it is propagate light in a sense and um, instead the propagating shadow as ambient occlusions um, in the global illumination mode is what we have it here. This model um, exposed to the light. So in another case we also receiving light cast and shadow cast with surrounding objects. So let's give it a small example. Okay, we can go by creating here wall and we'll just take this wall and switch to red color okay right here you'll notice right our object and surrounding already start receiving the light so the ray is calculating not just the shadows also calculating of the different lighting and interaction between object. This is most accurate model of the light, of the lighting, and um, when it's producing, it will take a little bit longer. Actually, it's the longest time of render take it when you're doing a view. So just keep in mind that on the lighting model, you're going from standard to fastest, going to more accurate global radiosity, but it is take the longest to render. Okay. Overall, this is lighting models. So next we have the sky, and this is sky properties which change based on the atmosphere model. We can create different type of clouds, and we have a spectral or a volumetric or different models of the clouds, which will work a little bit different depend on again atmosphere model. Sky and fog, in case this is tab is changing, also depend on atmosphere model. As example, you'll notice in the standard spectral let's work a little bit different look okay we have it a wind where we can um, mostly it will affect the plants or ecosystem you can specify different type of properties the wind breeze direction intensity turbulence and many other ones in effects we have an option to have it stars rainbow ice rings we can use the environmental map if we need it as well as a reflection map and lens flares enable for directional or all light sources. In V2000, in V11 was add additional rain and snow. It is a limited area particle effects. So you can create the around area, the rain or snow effect with particles. Okay, we'll look on them maybe a little bit later, but right now let's look on some um, with atmosphere models. So as I said before, standard, it's like a workhorse. It's a main model, um, a regional model. Uh, sometimes because it's mostly you still use the problem when you have a test rendering but for the production you probably want to use a standard spectral all for, for the metric so environmental mapping atmosphere lighting it will provide you to use it HDRI and you can see an effect now it's change so you can use the HDRI lighting environmental map you can use the illumination and reflection map so this is nice if you have an HDRI dome and you want to use it those lightings, um, maybe from photographer or otherwise, to use and properly cast on an object or a scenery inside the dome you render. So the next, and then you notice right here we have a limited top. So if we look on standard, we have it clouds, fog, haze, wind. And if we look on the environmental, we still have it wind fog and haze but we don't have it clouds and sun and some tabs is disappear so because it does not relate it to this type of atmosphere model the volumetric model it is um, next step which is you can start calculating lighting from the density from the atmosphere this model I still use it in many cases because for simulation when you need to produce it can create a very density and you look on our tutorials about how to create dense atmosphere. Uh, 
you can create very fast, very nice dense fog atmospheres with a relatively very low render time and very realistic effect. So this is model, uh, even it does not use as often, but it is a um, useful model of atmosphere and uh, in many artwork or illustrations, you probably will go back and forward to this model many times. So next, a standard spectral atmosphere, and this is was main um, model atmosphere for many years inside the view to use it when you need to render a fun final, when you want to create a good realistic render. It's sophisticated atmosphere model that taken calculations many um, options, so it's advanced. However, the new model was introduced in V2014 or V12, it's photometric spectral. And notice when I change, it's come up and says, do I want to automatically adjust camera explosion atmosphere, so on and stuff. So yes, you want to do this when you change exposure. If you don't, you will need to go in camera settings and modify exposure values right here. Okay, and photometric and spectral with the two very close atmospheres. However, you'll notice in the light options when you enable photometrics, your light, global light adjustments, now it's gray out. So they will be automatically calculated and adjusted to produce more natural look depend on uh, altitude, sun position, and other atmosphere settings. You can override those settings by enable allow override photometric settings so you can force it other ones um, as you work with photometric. Again, the all atmospheric models, you can modify light models inside the your atmospheric model. Um, if you needed more information on how every uh, slider work or what it does, I do recommend you to watch Discovering VU11 tutorials when going in very depth details on all of these settings including on the particle settings, wind and effect settings as well. Most of them does not change. How say some uh, small changes was applied inside the VU 2014 and mostly it will be with the position of the sun, how it's worked now, included new location map so it's easy to create it. And with a new photometric spectral atmospheres you know, with which we will go and work in our next tutorials. So here is a short overview of the atmospheres, models, light models, and tabs that you can use inside the VU 2014.